Hey guys, welcome back to Arkansas Fishing Videos. Uh, another non-fishing video today. I'm going to talk to you about a sling pack that I purchased for a recent trip my wife and I took. So my wife and I recently returned from a trip to Italy. Um, we went to Rome, Florence, Sorrento. Um, had a great time, spent 10 days. One of the things when we were researching um, Italy or Rome, Florence, the larger cities, I guess, was that um, pickpockets are a problem on transit. I guess I'm sure it's not unique to, to Europe or Italy. Anytime you get a large number of people um, in one spot, you know, you're going to have petty crime, stuff like that. So I knew I was, for sure I was going to be taking my GoPro and I have a, a Canon 5D Mark II that I wanted to take. And so one of the things that concerned me was what kind of bag I could carry it in to keep it secure. And I got to looking around. Um, you know, I knew for sure those were really the only two item for sure uh, video and camera equipment that I wanted to take. So I started looking around to see what I could find. I, I didn't want anything that just screamed camera bag. Um, so I got to, uh, got jumped online, started doing some research, hit YouTube of course, and found this Moab 6 sling bag. And as you can tell, it looks nothing like a camera bag. And that's that was exactly what I wanted. And that's what I used for our entire trip. And I want to just go over, go over it with you and kind of show you if you're in the market for a nondescript camera bag or a bag that just doesn't scream tourist with a, with a couple thousand dollars worth of camera and video equipment in it, then this may be the bag that you want to use. It's a sling, sling type bag which worked perfectly. This is set up for, it's supposed to be for your cell phone. This probably came out before the iPhone 7 Plus or any of the plus size phones. My phone doesn't fit in here. What does fit in here oh, is um, a battery pack. We carried a uh, external battery. We kept, we charged it every night to carry it to charge our phones during the day. And it fits in here perfectly. Um, one of the other things that I looked for was a way to kind of lock the zippers. And what I came up with was this, um, and it's basically just a keychain that I picked up in the checkout at Academy Sports. But the unique thing about it is that it locks. So it fits through, I don't know if you can see that, but it fits through the eye of the zipper. And then this little black piece right here turns and locks the carabiner portion of it so it won't turn. And so I kept one in the eye of it and then all I did was pull the string of the other through it. I figured if somebody was trying to pull the string out of there on a bus or any you know subway, whatever, I would feel that. And so that's how, I, and then once I had it through there, if we were gonna be walking, I wasn't gonna be taking my camera out, I would just turn this little black dial and then that locks it. You can't push it at all. So I figured there wouldn't be anybody that would be able to, to do that. Anyway, I wanna show you how it fit, how it, fits on you and then I'll show you um, how everything goes in it. Um, this is the 5D Mark II and this is a Canon 70 to 200. It's the f4. It's not the f2.8. I think the only difference in those lenses is the diameter of the actual glass itself, not the length of the lens. Somebody will have to check me on that, but I do believe that's that's the only difference. All right, so anytime we were in a crowd, this is pretty much how I carried the bag. I would just slide it, it just slings around to the front. You can push it to the back and it sits right up against your back or you can sling it right around to the front and then have it right in front of you where if you're on a bus or a subway or, or going through a crowd of people, you can kind of keep your hands on your gear. So I would just keep this zipper here kind of down and then the 5D fits right inside it's a little difficult there but it but it fits inside and this is this is my old GoPro Hero 4 and the uh, with the extension handle that GoPro makes it has the tripod that comes out of the the bottom the bottom of it and it will actually fit in the front pocket of this bag and still zip up 
say you have all your gear right there in front of you. Then you can, if you're on a train or bus or subway or whatever, you can just have it right there. Have your hands on it the whole time to make sure nobody's going to try to grab it or get into it. And then if you're walking, you just sling it to the back. <laughs> this right up against your back tight. And if you need to get into it for whatever reason, you can sling it there. Or if you see something you want a video, you can grab your camera out and then you're ready to go. So one thing I didn't do while we were on that trip is I, I took my this uh, I took the battery grip off this five this Mark II this 5D um, just because I didn't need the the extra weight it does make it fit in there just a little bit better but not my much it'll fit either way um, I you know I have this dual battery for shoots where I was going to need extended battery life but on that trip. We were staying in apartments where we, I could charge the batteries every night. I don't think I ran a battery down. Uh, I may have run one down the whole time we were we were there, but we had plenty of access to to um, to, re, to recharge all the batteries every night. And then we had the power pack as well. Um, I got this at Academy Sports. I think it was sixty nine ninety nine there. Um, I'm sure you can get it online. Uh, I'll check Amazon and see if they're cheaper. If they are, I'll drop a link below and I'll drop a link to the to the Academy Sports. I've been getting 10% off and 20% off coupons from them in the mail recently. So if you, uh, it had to be a certain, over a certain dollar amount purchase, but um, you know, if you're in the market for one, um, or certainly if you're going on a trip and you're looking for something, like I said, that doesn't just scream, hey, I'm a camera bag, you know, with a thousand dollar camera and it come snatch me up. This, this is a great alternative. I went to, I went overseas a few years ago um, and used another camera bag and it just it killed my shoulder. This um, distributes the weight kind of evenly across your shoulders and um, and I didn't have any back fatigue or anything. Um, so it does have, I didn't really go through the pockets, but you've got this front pocket here that's got um, pockets, got a place for keys. I kept some Kleenex in there any, and like a pen or it's got several pockets here you can store stuff in. It is a concealed carry bag, and it does have a place where you can put a weapon and get to it easily. Um, it's just a Velcro. Uh, I don't think I carried anything in there. I may have dropped my sunglasses in there a couple of times, but I didn't use that at all while we were there. Um, and then it's got a, a huge front pocket, zipper pocket in here. I've got uh, my inhalers in there, uh, and then this, uh, Kind of a drawstring pocket here and i just i stuck my lens down in here and then pulled this kind of tight and then zipped it up over it and then up against your back on the back side of it it's got another zippered pocket and that's where i kept my money um any credit cards my wallet all that stuff because it was right up against my back the whole time and i kept the the uh I, you know, I knew I wasn't going to be taking it off and setting it down anywhere, so I didn't. I wasn't afraid of somebody getting into it. And then it's, it's of course, it's got the Molly straps here that you can add stuff to. It comes with additional straps, so you can strap it to a larger backpack, a larger um, one of the larger 511 backpack uh, gear gear bags. Um, it's. I'm not sure the strength. I'd have to. I'll drop all the specifics i'll go to the 511 website and drop all the specifics on what the material is um, it's not waterproof and it does have a drain hole in the bottom and then like i said um, this is where i put our external battery pack that we use to charge stuff with i've got an iphone 7 and it won't you can as you can tell it just won't that's the plus size phone it just won't zip up in there if you have you know regular size cell phone you're probably going to be okay uh it does have a place for the morale patches the velcro loop and whatever uh morale patches here and a morale patch there um 
I didn't see any that I wanted to put on there. I'm sure I may find some later on down the road. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. If anybody's taking a trip anywhere, either overseas or or um, or here uh, in the United States, and you're looking for a good bag to keep all your gear safe and just kind of carry your stuff with you. Uh, I don't think you can go wrong for $69. It's a great bag. I'm actually carrying it now during the during the week. Here, and, you know, I put my keys and stuff in it. Um, I just saw my inhalers are in there. Just you know, stuff uh, that you carry to work with you every day. Basically, I just kind of keep in there and then throw it in my locker at work, just so I have everything with me. Uh, just a little bit easier to, to maintain and keep everything uh, together that way. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Um, it's sunny here. I've got my grass cut and I'm headed fishing. See you guys next time.